Welcome, this is my second video for section 10.3 for the Math 3 Advanced Kiddos. And this is the uh, same thing we did in the last video. We're going to take a word problem, a contextual problem. We're going to write a math model for it that's going to be a, an exponential function. And then we're going to solve the problem. So the two things we're doing are writing the equation as an exponential. So that's the math model. And then B, solving the equation, answering the question that says. And now these are different from the other ones. The other ones were all growth problems in part one. Part two is all decay. But the process works exactly the same. Here we go. So a radioactive element has a decay rate of 15% every hour. Uh, how much is left in, tw in 12 hours? So this decays hourly. So this is uh, a bar graph that shows the amount of radioactive element we have. We start with 100%. Of whatever amount it is, doesn't matter what amount it is, it dec decays at a rate of 15% every hour. So 15% every hour goes away. So boom, that's gone. So 15% goes away, how much is left? Well, 100 minus 15 is 85%. Now, this is the new 100% for the second stage of the problem. And what's going to happen in the next hour? Well, 15% of that's going to go away. So what's going to be left? 85% again. So it's going to be whatever the initial amount is times 0.85, however many times we do it. That's the model here. So again, this, like the last one, I didn't write it out here. But this assumes that the initial time, that t equals 0, is the first time period. Oh gosh, the cursive is horrible. That says it says first time period, trust me. So that's what's going on here. And zero is the first time period. So that's where we're gonna start at. So amount of time here. Now it says how much in percentage is left. Percent means percent percent like miles per hour. Per means divided by. So that's miles per divided by hours. So percent means when we say x percent, we means x divided by 100. That's how many hundreds. So out of 100, how many are left? So what would be a good initial amount to assume? How about 100? Because that's the whole thing to start with at the beginning of the problem. At the beginning, there was 100% of whatever it was. So that's, we're going to take that as 100 for the initial amount. Whenever I'm working percentage, my initial amount is 100. So what's left? 0.85. And then times t to whatever power. So I put that into Desmos. So 100 times 0.85 raised to the x power. And then we're going to test that. We're going to, hey, do what equals 0. When it's 0, there would be 100 left. Boom. f of 0 is 100. And by the way, the time here is going to be in hours. Because the decay rate's in hours. Because it's 15% every hour. So that means in one hour, how much is left? Well, 0.85 times 100 is 85. Bam! There we go. Perfect. So again, here's the initial model. Uh, 0, 100. Here's the second point. I said model. I should have said point. Here's the first point, 0, 100. Here's the second point, 1, 85. This is the curve. I've just proven this is the curve right here that fits those two points. So I can use it to predict all the other points on the curve if the math model is correct, which we're assuming it is, right? So here we go. So how much is left in 12 hours? So basically it's saying what's f of 12? 14.22. So final answer. 14.22, and there's hundredth percent, because this is in percent, right? This is parts out of 100. Started with 100, 
This is how many are left. This is how much per 100. That's the meaning of percent. 14.22 per 100. Okay, there we go. Wasn't so crazy hard, was it? Let's try another one. Number 10, a new car costs 40000 If it depreciates 14% every year, what will it be worth in 10 years? So again, we start with 100%. 14% of that is gone. How much is left? 86%. So there's my base, 86.86. So a sub t equals the initial amount, 40,000, times 0.86 to the t power, and that means the first year t equals zero. So we put one in here, that means the, the car's already been in your hands for one year, what's the depreciation? Okay, so we put that equation, by the way, that's my first answer, because the first part is come up with the equation, the math model, there it is. We put that into Desmos. We check it, we do f of 0 should be 40,000, bam. And then what's 86% of 40,000? Well, whatever that is, that should be f1. So I put our f of 1. So I put f of 1 in, I get 34,400. I say, well, I don't know if that's right. So let me do 0 0.86 times 40,000. So 0 0.86 times 40,000, and that's that number right there, 34,400. So again, boom, I hit both points exactly with this function. So this function, this math model, is the model for that situation. And so it basically says, hey, what will it be worth in 10 years? Well, let's find f of 10. So we put f of 10 in, and it says $8,852 to the nearest whole dollar. Final answer. Okay, that took us uh, less than two minutes. Not bad, huh? So there we go. Um, I'm hoping this is straightforward, that the video helped you out, and the video before that helped you out. If not, contact me for tutoring. Other than that, ciao, baby.